Rob, it's a massive day. We've just announced Electroheads karting. Um, we're at Autosport International. We have a cart, uh, but this has been a pretty long journey for you so far. Yeah, yeah, a lot of a lot of blood, sweat, and tears. Um, you know, there always is um, trying to trying trying to birth a project, um, and and this has been like it's it's just the same as everything that I've ever tried to do in Formula One. You know, it's a big project, um, but we are launched, we are official, we are public. Um, so so you know, it's a really proud day, I think, in 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 the history of of Electroheads Motorsport. You know, and 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 now actually, as with all projects, now the real hard work starts. Yeah, now we have to get these things on track. You're a former one engineer. Karting is the, the very grassroots level of motorsport. It's the first type of motorsport that most people experience on their journey towards the upper echelons like F1. Why, why did it matter to you to make an electric car, to make an electric karting series? Because I think I think what, what the, the first approach was was in 2018 uh, or 19 when when I when I when I was took took some time out of Formula One um, was to look at how I could give something back to to the motorsport community. And when you look at it, um, you know it's it's very clear that the, the the membership or the subscription to motorsport is very low. It was then a job to go away and try and understand why. And 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 it, and in fact, you know that becomes ever so clear when you look at the barriers to entry. The barriers to entry are cost. The barriers to entry are knowledge. Um, so so you know I set about starting to think about you know a holistic product uh, that that attack those barriers to entry. And if you look at it, you know, the petrol engine isn't isn't the devil incarnate, not by any means. Um, but within this car in space, there's a better solution in electrification. So 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 really when 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 the ob when the objective is to democratize, then electrification becomes a vehicle for that democratization. And democratization becomes then a platform for a more meritocratic um, you know community within within car so so you know this is what it's all about it's all about trying to attack down at that grassroots level get more kids involved and how important is the technology in a car because people might look at this and say like well it's quite like a, it's it's not a formula one car but like what makes it go and the way that they're told is is still super important to a, a a racer's first experience right? yeah it is i mean i, I mean just just going, just talking about the electric technology and the challenges that we've faced you know it's 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 absolutely not without challenges um and you know one of the things that, that we really had to get our head around is the battery because because you know we're not the first people who've tried to produce a, a an, an electric drivetrain for, for a go-kart absolutely not but if you look at what's come before us they're very heavy um, which makes the car slow um, the costs are very very high so so, so you know my my you know clear remit to the team was that we had to be the same weight as as, as the petrol equivalent um, with the same power output and it's got to run all day and you know with the partnerships that we've put together you know the exclusive partnerships that we've been able to put together on the technology side actually um, we're going more and more in that direction so you know by by the middle of this year we're going to be we're going to be already you know have something that is the same weight or, or even less than, than the petrol equivalent so we're talking you know 10 12 Which that's kilograms. incredible because of, of the battery. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I mean, that that is because we've been able to 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 exploit battery technology that is not available to everybody. You know, being able to kind of, you know, I don't want to use the word exploit, but but I'm going to use it. Exploit a network that, that is not open to everybody else. To get technical, how how fast do these things go? <laughs> Well, I mean, this, this 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 one here is 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 the Bambino version. Um, we're also going to do a, a cadet equivalent version. So this is for the six to 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 eight nine year olds, and then we'll do one for the the eight to twelve year olds as well, which is a slightly bigger cart. Um, you know, all of that technology exists in terms of the drivetrain, the chassis. We're going to take from Birrell Art. If you look at speed itself, you know, this one here will do about the equivalent of what a Bambino would do. So it might do 25, 30 mile an hour. Um, the cadet equivalents will do you know 50 to 55 mile an hour um, so they're fast they're fast bits of kit but not only that you know they don't make all a, a load of horrible noise they accelerate you know much much faster they're more fun to drive you know the first time we, we ran with our proof of concept version of this bambino i actually saw you know a seven-year-old doing spin turns on the circuit when he got it wrong which is just incredible and, and he got out of the car and he had this big beaming grin he said it's like a formula one car